Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Brian. I'm Brian Barone. This is my kitchen. I'm in Media Mid Atlantic, the Mid Atlantic states. I'm in Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. Well, anyway, welcome to Breakfast with Brian. How are you doing? I'll make this quick and easy. Talking about Easter and Earth Day. It was funny. Easter was on Sunday and Earth Day was on Monday. Did everybody celebrate to have a happy Easter if you're religious and you believe in uh, these religious holidays such as Easter. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Good to see you this morning. Anyway, I, I'm basically not practicing, but I still celebrate, you know, a little bit of these holidays, but they are religious holidays. So unless you're like Catholic or Christian, you don't really celebrate Easter, but it is what it is. Everybody's a little bit different. So, but anyway, welcome to Breakfast with Brian, and I also want to talk about Earth Day just for a minute. Let me get my breakfast out. I'm doing something simple. I'm doing an everything bagel. It's got all everything, seeds and onions and everything on it. And I'm going to mix this up with the uh, one of them is going to be with wow butter, which is, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. it's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, uh, soy, made from soy. Anyway, then the other one's going to be the almond creamy butter that I. Uh, so we're, we're popping up right now. Charles, how's it going? Good to see you. Pam, how you doing? Hope everything's going great down there. I hear you are doing really good things, Pam. Kareem, how you doing? People are just popping up like crazy right now. <clears throat> I guess it's that time. Anyway, uh, Easter with the bunny ears and the kids and the eggs, they all love it. And the egg Easter egg hunt. I went down and saw my daughter, my granddaughter, son-in-law. They had some of their uh, friends over from church and so forth, and they had all the kids in the neighborhood come by, and they, they did a Easter egg hunt. It was a lot of fun. It was great. And they cooked some ham. My daughter cooked some hams, and her mother-in-law did a ham, and did a lot of vegetables, because now my daughter is changing her diet because of what's going on inside. We all, A lot of us have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, or forms of, and I have colitis. My daughter's got some problems. So anyway, we did a lot of vegetables and stuff like that. Finally, I'm loving it because my daughter's now making gluten-free, dairy-free meals, not just little bits of meals. So, But anyway, it is what it is. I hope everybody out there had a great Easter if you celebrated, okay? I don't like to push that upon anybody because some people don't believe in it. Some people don't practice certain things within their religions and whatever. It, it is to whom ever decides to take a piece of it. So happy Easter, belated, whatever. Okay, um, let me get going here before my bagels get uh, cold. What I normally do is I just put little creases in them. So that when I put my butters on there, it kind of melts into it, sort of like the same idea that they uh, did with the Thomas's English muffins way back when. And uh, with all the nooks and crannies, so all the butter melts down into it. Well, I sort of the same idea. I do the same thing with my bagels, so that my almond butters, my wild butters, sunflower butters, whatever butters I'm using, sink down into the bagel. And it gives you a more full flavor, and I just think it's a lot better. But that's Neither here nor there. That's my choice because that's my bagels, right? Everybody does something a little different with their own bagels or toast or whatever. Kareem, I love doing, love that the plant guy thing that you're doing. I think that's killer, man. I'll, I'll tell you, I really like it. Um, keep it up. Don't ever stop. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get my almond butter on here on this bagel here, and I'll come right back and we'll keep chatting a little bit. There's my. Eight o'clock check-in call. Yep, eight o'clock. Hang on. Be right back. Hey, I'll call you right back. I'm on uh, doing my video. I'll call you right back. Bye. Okay. I got my bagels ready. This is my breakfast. So I'm keeping this as a pretty simple, uh, keep it simple and a uh, simple, uh, short breakfast with Brian. All right. So again, here we go. First thing I do, I put in my body before anything else is water. I take water to bed with me every night so I can drink water through the night. And then the next morning I drink water first. First thing, it's like an internal shower is what I call it. So cheers. Actually wasn't even enough water. I will take more water in a minute, but uh, it feels good. It kind of, kind of rinses all your organs and everything else. All right, so what's going on here? Stephanie, how you doing? Good to see you. 
All right, so today I'm just doing some vegetable juice. I'm picking this up at uh, Walmart. That's their brand, great value. It's probably made by V8 anyway, but it's basically the same as V8, and I really like V8, so there we go. Vegetable juice, great start for the day. I like to do it once in a while. Okay, I'm gonna do my supplements. I have a Centrum Silver, it's just broken in two pieces, and I have my Tamarack Ginger Supplement. And Julie, if you are uh, a friend of mine, turned me on to Tamarack for anti-inflammatory. She just shared a, uh, with me, she forwarded it to me, was a page, and it was all of these anti-inflammatory foods. And if you had a chance to look it up and you have problems with arthritis and stuff like that, like I do, then you might be interested. But anyway, I'm using that for anti-inflammatory from arthritis and so forth, and I'm doing other foods and such and such. So cheers to you. Here's my morning supplements. Mm. That's actually good. I really, really like that. It's a great start for the day. You've got to be consistent with what you do, and I try to do that. So. Let's take a look. More people popping up left and right here. Stephanie, how you doing? Okay, Mike Snyder. Hey, you're on. Okay, cool. All right, so I got my bagel, got my juice, did my water, did my vitamins. I'm going to take some fruit with me today. I've been working a lot lately, so I'm having to get up and hustle, and I can't quite do these as often because I'm picking up jobs and working for different companies and so forth. Today, as a matter of fact, I'm taking a grip truck out, and we're laying everything out in the parking lot and taking doing a photo shoot. So, um that's what that is. But anyway, I didn't get a chance to talk about Earth Day. I never really got into Earth Day, never looked it up, and never really um, figured out all these things about Earth Day. But it's basically simple. Respect the Earth, you know, and uh, do things with the Earth, I guess. And don't abuse the Earth. Don't trash. Don't litter, you know. Respect your Earth. You live on this Earth. And it means a lot. So this is actually uh, not an actual holiday, but it's a celebrated day for our Earth. I, I didn't really look it up, so I can't really tell you. I'm talking out my ass here. So, But anyway, um, I hope everybody had a great Easter. And then Earth Day was Monday. It was funny. Two E-Days. I called it the E-Weekend, E-Days, Easter weekend, Easter Sunday, and Earth Day Monday. How about that? Funny. Ha, ha. No big deal. So, But anyway, if you had a chance to go out and do anything in your earth, in your ground, or respect it, picking up trash, cleaning up your yard, it was a perfect day to actually do that, yard cleaning, um, yesterday or Sunday even. But Sunday was Easter, and a lot of people took Monday off. So it is what it is. I'm just yapping, just coming up with some kind of BS to shoot the shit with you guys. So, um, But anyway, I got my breakfast. I want to say happy Easter to everybody for those who celebrate. And if not, and everybody, I hope everybody respected the earth and, you know, Earth Day was yesterday. Wow. Uh, you know, it's awesome. It is what it is. Uh, I'm just talking out my ass here. But anyway, um, here at Breakfast with Brian, we do do 10 happies, thankfuls, or 10 things you're thankful for, 10 things you're grateful for. And I try to do this every single day. And as I go through my day, I do come up with other things. So I might end up with more than 10 happies or 10 things that are making me happy or 10 things I'm thankful for or 10 things I'm grateful for. You know, I'm grateful for all the veterans in this world. So I want to say hi and thank you to all the veterans out there. So I think I got more than 10 thank yous right there. How about that? That might be in the hundreds or thousands. But anyway, 10 things that will really make you happy or help someone else. Hey, John Arnold. Darren, how you doing? Good morning. Great hanging with us. Yes, it was great hanging. I was working a job down at the University of Delaware with uh, Light Action, and Darren Bruce was in charge, and I haven't seen him in a while. And it was good. It was a good job. It was a good day. Everything went smooth, and uh, it was nice. I actually uh, enjoyed it. It was uh, it was good. It's feeling good to me getting back into my business because I'm starting to work on jobs now. I like doing jobs. I like. I'm really good at these location jobs. I just really, really like it, and I want to do more of it and get back into doing it. I hate getting stuck in an office and doing nothing. I like being busy, you know. But. It is what it is, but good deal, Darren. It was a good job yesterday. Good, uh, good day yesterday. Okay, so we got ten happies going. Ten things we're grateful for, or thankful for. Also, the next thing is I like to share three love shares, and that is by wishing somebody a great day. Darren, have a great day. John Arnold, have an awesome day today. And everybody else that's joined me, Mike and Stephanie and Charles, Corinne, Pamela, Dave, everybody out there. 
Have an awesome day. Have a great day. Make it as great as you can. Do something to help others and do something to help yourself get happy. Okay, there's a couple of love shares. I think I just did more than three love shares. The easy way I do it is I just say, have a great day. To anybody and everybody I talk to or come across, I try to wish them positivity. You know, have a great day. That's that's good enough, I think, for sharing a little bit of love. You know, it's uh, very simple. And then the next thing is, Within your household, try to keep it positive. And the way I do that is one to two positive comments, and you shoot them with the love gun. You give them a positive comment or compliment before they leave, and then when they come home. So this way you're always forcing new positivity within your household. And this is something that's really, really crucial to help you and everybody that, you're, uh, that you live with stay positive. And it helps in your life it's just great all the way around so there you go very simple quick 10 happies gratefuls or thankfuls three love shares have a great day and positive comments honey have a great day at work today hey kids have an awesome day at school today you know what i mean just very very simple little things i really dig it and you should keep it in mind because it really does work down the road especially if you stay consistent and do it all right don't forget to go on to YouTube and subscribe to Brian Barolo, uh, my YouTube channel. You can see lots of videos, lots of Breakfast with Brian. So I'm posting them there. Uh, if you don't catch them here at Facebook, if you do, uh, great. That's awesome. You can watch them on YouTube anytime. They're there for good. And also subscribe to brianbarolo.com where you can go to the smiley face and you can pop up. Uh, the latest Breakfast with Brian, because I'm posting them on there after I put them on YouTube. So I'm doing the live video, putting it on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And then you can jump over to brianbarola.com, see what I got going on on my website. You can catch the Breakfast with Brian's right there, and you can subscribe to my brianbarola.com. One more is Brian's Health. Jump on there, read about my blogs, and some of my blogs about health and this and that, whether it be mental health, physical health, soul health, <laughs> whatever it might be. So I got brianbarolo.com, brianshealth.com, and Brian Brolo on YouTube. And every once in a while, I'll post something on Instagram. So anyway, please join, subscribe, and look for me down the road. I got to get going to work, so I'm going to gobble my breakfast because I have to get going to go do this camera shoot. So everybody out there, have an awesome, awesome day, and help others, thank others, treat yourself to a little happiness. Have a great day, okay? You all take care now and kick it in the butt. Ciao now.